Welcome back to my channel, and let me just tell you how good it feels to say that. Honestly, I am on like level 100 because I've enjoyed filming today so much. I actually just finished filming this makeup tutorial, which will be up as the next video, and now I'm gonna do this Q&A. I felt like a Q&A would be the perfect way to come back to YouTube. It has been a hot ass minute. I honestly almost forgot how to film YouTube videos. There's been such a huge shift in how we digest content and in my life personally. I became a mom of two. After being a mom of one, listen, I was still going strong. Like I was still getting ready every day, posting content a lot more. And then the second baby came around and I was just like exhausted. I am trying to make time for myself to film videos because I've actually realized that I miss it so, so much. The best way to come back is of course a Q&A because let's update you on what's going on with my life. I put a poll on Instagram to see what questions you guys had for me. So let's just dive right in. So the first question is, how is your breastfeeding journey going? The breastfeeding journey has come to an end. Honestly, it was a really beautiful experience this time around. I let go of all the pressures that I had the first time and all the stresses and just went into it with the mindset that, you know, I'm gonna do my best and what will be will be. My main goal was making sure that Harley was fed and we both really enjoyed our feeding experiences and we really did. I had such a hard time breastfeeding Ocean, like I'm not gonna lie, it was awful, beautiful, but also just so stressful. I was a first time mom. I just wanted to be the best that I could and do the best that I could and I was stressing myself out so much that it just wasn't working out. And at one point, I think Ocean started losing a lot of weight as a baby and I noticed it and I would tell Steven, I'm like, oh my God, I think he's losing weight. And I told my mom and they both were like, no, I think it's in your head, he's fine. But you know what, the thing is, is that a mom is always right. Like we really do, do see everything and I was right I went to the doctor and he was losing weight and that crushed me like I broke down into tears in front of the pediatrician and I was like I'm so sorry I'm about to cry like I can't hold it in and he was the sweetest person to me he made me feel so okay with the fact that you know maybe formula will supplement a little to get his weight back up you're fine my wife also went through this and he he comforted me so well and it does sting if you're a breastfeeding mom trying to just breastfeed and then you you know, the first time you feel like you need to give your baby formula, but it's gonna be okay. Everything is gonna be fine and you will be fine, your baby will be fine. Ocean ended up drinking formula and he's doing just great. So with Harley, we had a really great experience. I was able to breastfeed her longer than Ocean. I pumped with her, I breastfed, and I also started to then slowly give formula and eventually we weaned off of the boob and it was just formula and we're doing great now. So. That's how it's going. Next question, does Ocean ever throw a tantrum? Yes, he does, but I will say, he does not throw them in public. I truly think this kid's like an old soul that has just been here before because there's a lot of things that surprise me that I feel like he already knows and it freaks me out sometimes. But when we're in public and he sees a kid throw a tantrum, he looks really confused because he's like, you know, but at home, when he feels really comfortable, he will throw a tantrum, especially now we're entering this stage where he's actually starting to throw tantrums a little bit more. Thankfully, so far, none in public, but if he does them in public, it, it is what it is, you know? They're kids. They're gonna throw tantrums, so I'm just like ready for it. I'm waiting for the public tantrum because I just know it'll probably happen eventually. How do you keep up sexy time with your hubby with two kids and running a business? Tips, tips, tips. <laughs> Listen, it is a juggling act over over here, there's like a lot going on all the time. During the week, I truly feel like Steven and I are two passing ships in the night. We just like are constantly passing each other down the hall from room to room and we're not actually even looking at each other because we're either working, one of us is taking care of the kid. It is tricky, it is. Date night is super important to us. We never cancel, we never make plans outside of date night unless we're doing like double dates or triple dates or stuff like that. I think it's really important to have that connection with your partner. I will say sexy time is a little bit harder these days because Ocean, as of recent, started to like climb into bed with us. He has slept in his bed and in his room all this time. And then when I was on bed rest, he wanted to spend time with me. I wasn't gonna say no, I was stuck in bed all day. So I let him sleep in bed with us and now he doesn't wanna leave. So that's where we're at. Someone said, where have you been, loca? Do you miss YouTube, the good old days? Ugh, yes, I miss YouTube a lot. I actually didn't think I'd miss YouTube this much, but I actually really do. Because when I'm filming TikToks, I feel like 
I'm in a rush. Three minutes is not enough because I just be chatting and it's just not enough. So I never feel super genuine to a conversation. TikTok has this way of being an amazing platform where you can just like randomly find somebody and they can capture your attention. It's really interesting. And I feel like YouTube just is more of a connection platform for me. And so I do really miss that. What's the one thing you miss before having kids? We know motherhood is hard. <laughs> The one thing I miss before having kids was being able to just not if I didn't want to. Like sometimes I want to just sleep all day. I'm not feeling well. Maybe I'm not feeling well mentally, physically. I'm tired, I started my period, like whatever it is. I miss just being able to be like, ugh, I'm just gonna just lay in bed all day and that's just gonna be my day. That's what I miss the most. Not going out, not anything else, that. Just having those moments without feeling guilty. Steven will always offer me those moments if like I need them and that's great. I have a partner that will do that, but the guilt eats away at you. It's like, you know, you could be playing with your kids right now, but instead you're just laying in bed, like it's just a, a shitty feeling. So that's the one thing I'd say I miss. When did you start using flashcards with Ocean? I wanna start with my little one. It is never too early to start flashcards because there's always gonna be a set of flashcards for their developmental stage. Right now with Harley, I'm using the Love Every black and white flashcards that are pictures. Obviously she's still a little baby, but I am constantly playing with her with, just to like stimulate her and it's our play time. And then slowly we'll move into animal flashcards, anything that is educational, I love Love Every for that reason not an ad not sponsored but if you're a first-time mom and you don't know developmentally like what stage your baby is at and what they're capable of and what's going to stimulate them I think it's such a good way to get a subscription of toys that are educational that help define their motor skills and their learning skills and all of that I started pretty early probably like eight months this is a question I get all the time how does it feel to be mother of two honestly sometimes I'm like shit I'm a mother of two what? Like, how am I responsible for humans? It's crazy. No, I, I still have not digested that I'm a mother of two. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the newborn stage was not so lovely because postpartum I think is just so heavy for me both times. It's just the no sleeping, the breastfeeding, waking up all the time, and that was hard for me with two kids, especially in the beginning because I felt bad not giving Ocean as much attention as I could, and I tried really hard to make sure I always made Ocean feel seen because that was the hardest part for me was juggling my attention between the two of them. It got to a point where Ocean always saw me as like, no, mommy has to hold Harley and daddy's with me as in like he grew this really strong bond with his dad and sometimes that would hurt my feelings because I feel like they're closer than him and I are but that went away after the newborn phase and now Ocean just like is back to normal and he's doing really well with Harley he's still not very like touchy-feely with her he's not gonna go kiss her on his own or like hug her but he's very sweet the other day we were in the car and she was crying and he's like it's okay Harley and he started singing to her because I sing to her when she cries and in the back seat I just hear him going Harley, it's okay, A, B, C, D. My heart melted. Outside of the focusing the attention, it's actually been a really nice transition. Harley has been the sweetest baby. She's an absolute joy. Like this girl is unlike Ocean in the way where she sleeps all night. Ocean has never been a good sleeper. He's still not a good sleeper. He will sleep if he's sleeping with us, but like he kept us up all the time when he was a baby and it was so hard. I would cry in the night because I was so exhausted. And Harley has been sleeping in her own room in her own crib for months now and she sleeps like 12 hours 11 hours every night this is unheard of for me like I didn't even know babies could do that I didn't know that's something that they did because ocean his sleeping patterns like just traumatized me. It has actually been really nice. And I know not a lot of people feel that way. Every situation is different. Don't get me wrong. It's still hard, but I think I got really lucky with a baby who loves to sleep and is so happy all the time. She's really great. I have a question here that says, is Harper a fertility baby? I'm getting a lot of people thinking that Harley's name is Harper. It's Harley. I'm guessing she means is Harley an IVF baby? Yes, Harley is an IVF baby. I actually, after I had Ocean, I'm not sure if a lot of you know this, but I suffered another miscarriage and I was just devastated because I went through so many emotions. Ocean was only six months old when I found out I was pregnant again and I didn't think I could get pregnant because I haven't been pregnant on my own for so long. 
and I hear a lot of people say that after they do IVF, they get pregnant again naturally really quickly, and I didn't think that would happen to me, and it did. First, I was so scared because I'm like, I'm not ready for another baby. I just had this baby. Like, I was freaking out, but then slowly I started to become excited and comfortable with the idea. And then I had a miscarriage, and it, then I, I, was, I was devastated again. And so I told myself, like, I never want to go through this again. I'm actually tired of trying on my own. Like, there's only so much this that, you know, one person can take. And I had already done IVF and I already have all my embryos. All the hard work is already done. So yeah, we chose to have Harley through IVF. Okay, this is a really good question. It's what's the more difficult brand to own and more of an expense? So I have Desi Eyewear and Desi Skin, and I will tell you right now, Desi Skin is way more expensive to run and also the more difficult. Obviously running a business in general is hard, but if I were to pick between the two, it's skin. Because with skincare, it's so important that you build the trust of the consumer because nobody wants to be out here messing with their skin and trying new skincare products all the time because that's just not how skincare works. You need to find what works for you. And the truth is, is that not every product works for every person. You can't guarantee the same results for everyone. And some people may react to something and some people don't. And there's just a lot of moving parts. The raw materials are also so expensive. And with everything going up now, it's even more expensive. And so that part is really tricky because when you want to have great formulas and you also don't want to be too expensive it's just this constant like tug of war with they really want this to be better and then next thing you know the manufacturer will send you the price because you've added all these different ingredients and you're like oh it's way more expensive here's the thing though with skincare is also so rewarding because when people send me before and afters or make videos about how this a product has changed their skin and I know how tough it can be to have you know skin issues and how much that eats away at you I had acne growing up my brother um, suffers with acne and you know I see how hard that is for him and so when something works it's just like the best feeling and he uses our vitamins see like he can't stop using it it helps his skin a lot and that makes me really happy so it's really rewarding on the skincare side whereas I wear I find that you see something you like it and people love to switch up their looks and I think eyewear is like the easiest way to do that. Every day when I put on my sunglasses, I'm like, what energy am I trying to serve? I think about the energy of the day, the vibe of the outfit, and I change it up. To me, I think people try the sunglasses once, they love the quality, and then it's just more of like a easy purchase for people. Can you film more day in your life TikTok videos? Yes, I will try to film more day in the life TikTok videos. I think you guys really enjoy that more than anything that I've filmed. Are you going to teach Ocean Spanish? Yeah, Ocean speaks Spanish. You guys, we, t we talk to Sp Ocean in Spanish all the time. He speaks both Spanish and English. Most of the time he speaks Spanglish. If he doesn't know a word in English that he knows only in Spanish, he'll use that word vice versa. He definitely talks to, like for example, my cousin came from Mexico and I said, Ocean, he only speaks Spanish, so you need to talk to him in Spanish. He went and played with his little cousin and just spoke Spanish and I was really shocked. That was the first time I knew that he realized, you know, when to speak Spanish and when to speak English and that he could do that, so. He does speak Spanish. How is it being a beauty influencer and a mom now? Well, I will say my life has changed drastically. A big part of that change was the brands and running the brands and also having two babies. They kind of were back to back, to be honest. So it's like right when I felt like I got my groove back with Ocean, then I decided to have my second baby. I feel like a lot of my identity was just being pregnant and I put myself on the back burner a little bit as far as the beauty world and doing my makeup and getting ready and so that's why I'm kind of happy to be just doing videos again because it pushes me to do fun creative makeup looks so hopefully it starts to get a little bit more evened out my life starts to have a little bit more balance any funny nicknames Ocean and Harley have? Not really, Ocean doesn't really have a nickname, actually. We just call him Oceano in Spanish. Harley, my older brother, gave Harley the nickname of Bubbles, and that's because she constantly makes bubbles with her mouth. Ocean would get so upset and be like, her name's not Bubbles, it's Harley, and now he's like, her name's not Harley, it's Bubbles, so. That's her nickname. Dang, someone said, where is Harley's pregnancy journey video? Ocean got a whole series and none for Harley. This is funny because the series was more not about like 
ocean, but it was about infertility and it was a diary for me to process everything that I was going through and had been going through over the years. And I felt it was so important to share that part of a woman's life that I feel a lot of other people talk about. So it's not so much that that was like just for ocean, it was for me really, and Ocean is what came from it. I did do IVF with Harley as well. However, for her transfer, it was a lot easier because we had already done everything. Like my embryo was already made in the first round of IVF that I did with Ocean. I did film it all and I do have it all. And I do eventually want to put something up for her. My goal is to really get it up before she turns one. And I know that seems like a long time from now, but it is a lot, a lot of footage. I did film everything. I want to do it. It's very de distressed denim video vibes. I wanna do it. I'm just like, fuck, I'm overwhelmed. How do you stray away from comparing yourself with others? This is so simple for me. I don't compare myself to other people because I'm not competing with other people. I only allow other people to inspire me. I see other people have something that maybe I want that I don't have and it doesn't make me feel discouraged. It makes me motivated to be like, what did they do to get that and how can I get that? Like I really want something like that for myself. I'm not sure if I've ever had a hard time with like comparison. The only time I feel comparison is honestly with things that I probably are out of my control to change. Like, you know, sometimes I'm not gonna lie when I say like, shit, I don't compare myself to other moms after they've had a baby and like, damn, look at their bodies. It looks, they look like they never even had the baby. That I will say, I. I do compare, say I'm not gonna lie and say I don't compare bodies. Like when these girls be popping out babies and then they look like snatched, I'm just like. As far as like my career and things like that, like I don't compare those kinds of things. You just need to let people motivate you because at the end of the day, comparison is a thief of joy. Did you suffer postpartum depression, anxiety after your pregnancies? I have a hard time saying that I had postpartum depression. I do think that I had baby blues, but I'm also a person who doesn't listen to her feelings. And so sometimes I disregard my feelings, but I will say I did have anxiety. I couldn't even drive for a while after Ocean. The car scared me, like even Steven driving, anyone driving, like I constantly felt that like if Steven left the house without me, like something would happen to him. That's where my brain was at. With Harley, things were a little bit easier actually. I didn't feel that crazy. Although some days I will say that I just all of a sudden felt so low, like I was on the floor. I knew I felt a little depressed and I couldn't pinpoint why. And I would just let Steven know like, hey, I'm having a really hard day today. And he would help me out. What's Harley's personality? She's just kind of starting to come into her own personality. As of right now, she's just so chill and giggly and happy. She gives people this smile that it's like, you are the best thing in the world to her and she gives it to everyone. And that's kind of funny because we'll have family over and they're like, oh my God, look, she keeps smiling at me like that. She really likes me. And I'm like, yeah, she likes you, just you. She does it to everyone and she makes everyone feel so special. Like that's her gift. Is motherhood what you thought it would be? Ugh. It's everything I thought it would be and more. You guys know I wanted to be a mom. That's like, that for a while, that's something that I thought that's just what I wanted. Not to say just, I hate when people say, oh, she's just a mom, she's just a stay at home. Being a mom is n anything more than just. It's one of the biggest jobs and the most important jobs in the world. And so for me, it's like, because I wanted it so bad and I cried so many nights for it, I throw myself into motherhood. I love it. That's not to say that the shit's not hard and that I don't have days where I'm like, fuck, this is hard or like, I'm tired or I'm just like, I need a break. Like that's, you can have both of those things. It can also, it can be amazing. It can also be hard. I think we should all have a space, safe space where we can talk about motherhood and how that shit's fucking hard, but also how it's the most amazing thing in the world. Is there anyone you would love to collab with for Desi? Yes, there is actually. You know what's funny is I've never really thought about collabs because it's, we're still such a young brand and it's just not something that crossed my mind. When you see somebody that you wanna collab with and they inspire you, then you'll just know. I don't think that it's good to actively search for somebody to collab with. I think that when you just 
feel this heavy inspiration from somebody that you should collab with them. And I recently felt that. So putting it out to the universe that it happens. We'll see. Your favorite shampoo for hair growth. I have actually been using so many different hair growth things all of a sudden because I had mentioned about my hair growth situation. And I think I got a lot of PR for like hair growth. It was exciting, but also made me feel bad because I'm like, damn, everyone's like knows that I'm losing my hair from having the baby. Last week, I started using the Vegamore shampoo and conditioner. And I really, really like that. But I'm not going to say I like it for hair growth yet because obviously I just started using it. But I really like the way it made my hair feel and it smells divine and my hair's so soft. How do you envision yourself in the social media space now that you're a mom of two? You know what I will say is that I think my whole presence on YouTube has always been pretty authentic to where I am in my life and it has changed as I've changed and I think I have never been a super niche creator I wouldn't say. I feel like I've dabbled in everything that I'm interested in. It's just going to continue to be that way and obviously I have less time for full-blown makeup tutorials. Tutorials. I'm just gonna do what makes me happy and what's going on in my life in that moment I've been uploading every single day on TikTok for the month and I found that it's easiest to upload what's natural for me that day and what I'm doing. I'm not worried about finding my niche or being one thing. I've just let go of that recently and I've realized that I'm at a place in my career now where social media for me is like how it was when I, I don't wanna say it's how I was when I first started, but it kinda is. When I first started social media, I had no, absolutely no um, thought in my mind that it was to become this influencer. I hate the word influencer, but like this, content creator, whatever. I, that wasn't a job at the time. I was creating because I wanted to create and it made me happy. The only thing that I thought I would get was like freelance gigs, right? Like, cause I was doing makeup freelance but I was creating because I it was fun for me because I wanted to create, not because I was trying to get somewhere. I'm so thankful that I'm a point in my career now where I'm where I wanna be, I'm so happy. I'm obviously always working to better myself, but as far as like creating content, I feel like I'm creating for myself again. I'm creating for fun. I'm not creating to be anything for anyone else. I'm just creating for me. And it's kind of a really beautiful place to be. So that's really just what I'm gonna do from now on. I'm gonna stop, you know, I'm not creating for anyone. I'm creating for myself and I'm gonna do what makes me happy. And some days it'll be makeup and some days it won't be. And some days it'll be mommy content and whatever just makes me happy because I'm creating for myself. There was a time in my career where I was hustling to create because then I found out it was a job. And then I was like, oh my God, I have to like do all this stuff. I have to keep posting more of this. And now I'm like, I'm at peace with where I am in life and I just want to create for fun. What was your first job? I worked at an ice cream parlor on the beach. It was such a fun job. I had the best time and I worked with all my friends. You keep a very small circle. Why is that? Don't most people keep a small circle? Isn't that the way it goes down? No, I keep my circle small because I have found these amazing people that I really connect with and I really want to give my attention to those relationships. And that's not to say that I would never open my heart up to other relationships. I meet people all the time, but it's just a matter of like having the bandwidth as one person to have, you know, more relationships. I feel like my circle is pretty, pretty good. It's like, I don't think it's too small. I don't think it's too big. It's just perfect. Do you have nose filler? I've thought about it but I'm scared of it migrating and you know a lot of people think I've had like a full-blown nose job because my nose looks different in my wedding video but the truth is I do not have a nose job a surgical but I did get nose filler on the top and the bottom of my bump because I had this bump before and I just wasn't happy with it I did nose filler which by the way is like apparently super dangerous to do nose filler a lot of people don't recommend it so I'm not I'm not sitting here recommending it. Where does Miss Patty get her style inspo from? She's always styling. Listen, you guys, my mom is a fashion icon and I have always looked up to her. Even when I was little, she would have these holiday parties at her company and it was her time to be that bitch, okay? I would enjoy watching her get ready and transform and put this gown on. It was such a core memory for me watching her get ready for these things. She's always been so into fashion. That's where I got my creativity from. She would do fashion sketches as a kid and she just has her own style. Like I do not dress her. I do not tell her what to wear. She puts all her outfits together. She has always been so good with fashion. She will tell me when things are about to be trending before they're trending. And she's like, remember I told you that this was gonna be big? She knows what is up, okay? Do all your brothers work for you? No. <laughs> I have three brothers, only one works with me. The other ones do not. They would never, okay? They would never. 
How do you maintain friendships with a busy schedule? This is a really good question and actually it's really hard to maintain like a friendship in person. If that makes sense? Like Katie and I, I think we used to see each other so much more and it's not just Katie, my other friends too. We used to get together almost every day, but honestly running businesses will take up all your time. And so her and I are constantly on different schedules. The thing is, is that we may not hang out as much in person as we used to, but me and her will be on FaceTime for like an hour a day. Like we talk every single day. Same with my other friends. Like we talk on the phone, we text each other throughout the day. Like we are still so connected. And then we make time for each other to actually hang out and go out to dinner and things like that. Because one of our goals together has been to try to do that more. So do I have drama with any other influencers? Honestly, like listen, you guys, I'm at a point in my life where I just don't care about those things. And I don't care. I'm so happy that I, I, I know who I care about what I care about and everything else is that's like, no. Is there anything other than shades you have in mind for the Desi brand? Honestly, you guys know I'm always like wanting to do other things, but my focus right now is on building the things that I already have because we are only a team of five and that's for both brands. We are still very small. So my goal right now is actually to expand on my team and get more employees and that's just a lot harder said than done because finding the right people for your team especially when you're like primarily family run it's just like letting somebody into your it's a whole thing however i always have other ideas in my head and up my mind and i'm always writing them down or designing things whatever it is i'm doing it but right now your girl's tired okay i'm tired too this these two brands are like enough for me right now i'm yeah you guys are so funny. Where's Thea? Thea's here. She just got back from Mexico, actually. She's been gone for a while. You know, she always goes to Mexico, but she is now here. She just, she just got back. It's like, she lives with me. So she's always, always here. Even when I don't post her, like I don't post my puppies as much anymore either. Um, and I do still post them on my stories, but like, ugh, you guys, I've mentioned this before, but usually on stories. So it goes away. Like when Harper passed away, honestly, it wrecked me. And it's still something that I struggle a lot with because she was really special to me. And so a lot of people don't even know that Harper passed away sometimes. I'm like, so I feel like every time I post my dogs now, everyone asks me about Harper and I don't, I just don't, some people don't know. And it's like, it brings up these feelings and I just don't. So I just post them every once in a while, just not as much as I used to. How are you such a bad bitch? <laughs> I don't know. It's just... A vibe it's an energy you got to wake up and be like I'm that bitch and then you will be everything you say to yourself is what you are speak it and you will be it do you think it's too late to become a content creator absolutely not why would it be too late it's never too late to do anything you want to do literally never 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 I actually saw um, somebody posted something I think it was Ariel posted this slide that said all of these like amazingly huge entrepreneurs that you know of well-known brands that all of us know and when they started their career when they started their line and it was all like over 40 so as far as age it's never too late as far as like the world being too saturated it's never too late because there's still people that are coming up now and are blowing up and that's because there's always room for a new personality and it's just never too late you should do it if that's what you want to do we there's my baby there she is hi baby girl say hi who's that it's baby steven yeah you look just like your daddy all right guys that's it i've run out of time i gotta go really enjoy this q a and i will see you guys with my next video which is this makeup tutorial so see you guys later bye